गाइस हेलो रोहन एंड वेलकम टू द चैनल सो दिस वीडियो इज रिगार्डिंग नोटिफिकेशन व्हिच हैज बीन अनाउंस्ड बाय बीआरसी दैट इज भाभा एटॉमिक रिसर्च सेंटर एंड दिस इज रिगार्डिंग ओसीएस स्लैश डीजीएफ डीजीएफएस 2022 एग्जाम एंड द एप्लीकेशन हैज बीन स्टार्टेड यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर पोस्ट एंड बिफोर अप्लाइंग इट यू शुड एक्चुअली गेट टू नो दैट व्हाट एग्जैक्टली दिस ओसीएस इज what is this dgfs who are eligible for this what can you expect from this particular course everything i'm going to explain in this particular video uh, i'll also explain that how you can apply for it but for that i i if you guys will ask or if you guys will uh, if you guys want i'll make a separate video in detail that how you can fill the application form for this particular video i'll be talking about that what this oces is who are eligible for this Uh, what are the benefits of this and all the stuffs which you actually need to know about the notification when is the last date and all those things okay so those things we are going to discuss in this video so now without wasting any time let's continue with our video all right so this is the official website of barc bhaba atomic research center i'll give you the link of this in the description video you can directly come up to this but uh, there is not lot of information over here there is just an application to apply and to candidate login these are the only things which are actually there and which you can do but uh, what we are into it is you can go to this download and you can download the advertisement or you can go and download the information brochure now all the basic or all the important things are actually in information brochure so i'll quickly take you to this information brochure you can just click on this to download it and rest all the details will be there i'll just show you that what exactly it is all right so this is how the uh, the information brochure is going to look like i'll just uh, come up to the important things of it because i just want to make this video very short and precise so the first thing or the first page describes what this oces is actually so the training scheme and the employment description is here so bark training school provide two training schemes to deserving candidate ambitious of pursuing a uh, uh, pursuing a rewarding career in nuclear science engineer, engineering and technology and to those who wish to relish challenges in the frontier areas of science and technology Uh, who would like to be part of expanding program in power uh, nuclear power research reactors accelerator nuclear fuel and fuel cycle technologies and those who would uh, enjoy pursuing innovative research in the frontier areas of engineering physics chemistry and geology so this post clearly is for those who have done engineering or those who have done uh, physics or uh, like physics chemistry or geology okay so this this is for them now uh, this oces actually means that orientation course for engineering graduates and science post graduate okay so that's what oces means so it's a course which barc or bark does and with this you will be taken to a training program in which you will be trained for a particular time and after that you will be given a scientist grade c job okay so that's what you will be getting after you qualify or after you pursue this whole course so dae graduate fellowship scheme for the engineering graduate and physics post graduate so this is for engineering and physics that's a different thing we will be focusing on oces that is for the chemistry people okay so this is for them for physics people you can like read about this dgfs and for engineering people you can also read about it i'll not be mentioning or i'll be not be discussing about them i'll be more focused on oces in the video so successful completion of the training scheme guarantees employment as a scientific officer c in one of the dae units of atomic energy regulatory board with the attractive career progression opportunity up to the highest echelon so that's what it is as i already told you that this after completion of this training scheme you will get a job as scientific of scientific officer c and uh, in dae dae is uh, basically department of atomic energy okay so that's a government of india uh you can say ministry it's a, it's a regulatory body from government of india so you will get uh, the job under it now dae have a workforce which reflects gender balance and women candidate and encourage to apply now all those things are over here what you have to look upon is the basic thing that one year orientation course for engineering graduate and science post graduate for academic year 2022 to 2023 that is oces 
this will be conducted at five bark training institute so this is the place where you will be given training for one year these institutes are mumbai kalpakkam indore and hyderabad and uh, the eligible eligible disciplines of ocs program is given in table 1a and 1b i'll show you later on and table 2 list the eligible disciplines and the orientation of the training program so these things the tables we will look upon at the end of this video so stay tuned for that now once you qualify or once you complete these training uh, like uh, training period so a training scientific officer who scores a minimum of 50 percent aggregate marks on the completion of the training program is declared to have passed the course successfully successful tso's tso are training scientific officer means those who have completed this course uh, they will be posted as scientific officer in one of the following dae units now these are the units you can see these are like 1 2 3 4 5 uh, 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so these are 12 units in which you will be posted as scientific officer level c okay now these units have their head uh, offices in the indicated location you can read about their names so they are in hyderabad they are in kalpakkam they are in uh, mumbai so all these places they have okay now the next thing is uh, that allocation and the of the successful oces tso uh, they will be done uh, according to the regulatory body and they will be like they will be appointed by a group a gazetted officer okay so these are the different things uh, which uh, are there you can read about them but basically and this the second thing which is about your dgfs as i told this is for physics people and for engineering graduates so this i am not going to read about or i am not going to discuss about yeah next thing is regarding stipend so the stipend and the allowance during the training okay so during the training of oca es eso that is uh, like training uh, scientific officer so uh, during that time you will be given a stipend of 55000 per month that's the stipend which you are going to get and a one time book allowance of 18000 uh, for per, uh, for purchasing books and all and uh, dgfs fellows are reimbursed the tuition fees so this is for the dgfs uh, people and uh, yeah that's what it is so for oces this 55000 per month is fixed and along with that you will get a one time book allowance of 18000 rupees okay and i'm really sorry for the audio disturbance in the back side there are so many dogs which are barking it's winter i can't do anything for it so i'm really sorry about that please please uh, don't mind that and please focus on what i'm saying i'll try to suppress the sound of them but still i know that it might come the mic might catch it so i'm sorry for that okay the next very important thing is that the selected candidate uh, are requested to execute an agreemental and a personal indemnity bond uh, to serve dae for at least three years after completion of the training so it is a bond based job uh, you cannot just do the training and leave the course as such after the training you have to serve at least for three years and the bond amount is six lakh seventy eight thousand for ocs that means if you break this bond you are there to pay this much amount to the uh, dae that means department of atomic energy okay you have to pay this much amount to them this is for oces candidates whereas for dgfs the amount is even higher it's 13 lakh uh, 58 000. so that's a bond based job you should understand this that once you are into it you have to like you have to complete it okay or you have to at least serve for three years that's what it is so this is very important to note before you are applying for it okay let's go further so the grade pay and scale is there so uh, the grade pay will be based upon and according to the seventh pay uh, central pay commission so once you are appointed as the scientific officer c your payment will start as 56100 for per month okay so this is going to be your base pay apart from that there will be different alliance which will be there so it says that monthly uh, emoluments with three increments at the time of joining including a dearness alliance house rental alliance travel allowance at present uh, at the mumbai rate will be approximately 1 lakh 5 uh, 5000 so this is something which you are going to get uh, th uh, for the three increments when you join it so these are all technical things once you qualify once you join these uh, things like regarding the amount which you are going to get and how much allowance and other things will be there that will be made much clear once you qualify the entrance exam the things will be separated out and they will be mentioned to you in more detail so in addition other alliance such as leave travel concession by air these other things are there like you will be getting concession by air every year you will be having uh, you will be getting some children ed ed education alliance then you will be getting some professional update alliance so these are different things which will be there okay so they are also like as a part of you can say the service which you are going to provide to this particular institute 
also if you are like uh, selected as scientific officer and want to get uh, want to study uh, you can take that study leave as well so these are different things which are there and which has been mentioned over here comprehensive con uh, contributory health services scheme is also there they have just mentioned about it let's not talk about the thing which we are more interested in that is selection process so now OCES and DGFS both uh, they consider two step process the first step is screening or to shortlist candidate followed by selection interview of the shortlisted candidate so two steps are there one is a screening second is selection uh, interview now a screening will be done by two ways one is through the their entrance exam okay and uh, the other one through the gate exam okay so that's what it is so you can come a little down it says that there are separate selection process for each discipline listed over here so different selection like these are different different uh, like uh, you can say disciplines for which they have mentioned but for chemistry people this is the one which we have that rses uh, this is an additional training scheme option to applicant belonging to nuclear engineering physics and chemistry so apart from that oces this is an additional uh, training scheme okay this additional training scheme is like for chemistry people this is one of the additional training scheme for other branches like mechanical engineering electrical engineering they have different uh, additional uh, training scheme but for chemistry people apart from this oces one more additional training scheme is there available over there which they have mentioned over here so they have given that there is no separate training scheme called nuclear engineering and selected candidate belonging to nuclear engineering will be allotted as rses or uh, mechanical or chemical as their training scheme so that's what they have said key basically this is one more additional training scheme which you are going to be provided okay so you should know this now coming to this screening or the selection interview so on the basis of online examination so the online exam this is the first way as i told that first way is through the entrance exam so they have discussed about that what is what about the entrance exam so the online exam is going to be conducted in the april 2022 as of the tentative date and uh, this is going to be for all the disciplines of engineering whereas for science discipline 41 42 45 remember uh, for chemistry it is uh, 42 right okay let's come a little down so travel allowance is not paid for appearing in the online examination remember this and candidate who register for the online examination will be permitted to book an examination slot and examination center based on availability the allotment will be done on first come first serve basis so you have to select a cell, uh, center where you want to give this exam uh, next says ki all candidate appearing for the bark online examination will be awarded as a bark online examination score as per the method methodology outlined in annexure one so that i will show you how it will be done and short listing of these candidate for the selection interview will be based on their online examination score so that's one of the um, method of getting into or of qualifying this oces first step uh, the second way is through the gate score so the candidate will be screened for selection interview on the basis of valid gate 2021 and gate 2022 score so the gate which has been already done and the gate which is going to be held on uh, 6th of february uh, for chemistry people so the gate which is up in the upcoming february month based upon that also they are going to select so you should understand that you have to perform good so if you get a good rank over there you can also apply uh, uh, through the gate score as well now applicants with a degree of nuclear engineering will be screened in only on the basis of online examination so for nuclear engineering they are not going to conduct or they are not going to like uh, see the gate score fine for rest of the things you are eligible uh, now there are things that at the time of application you can choose any one method that is either by entrance or by gate score or you can also choose both options that means you want to apply through the entrance as well as through the gate score so it's up to you what you are uh, like uh, opting so availing both the screening channels uh, gate score as well as online examination is given to you so what it says uh, as the cutoff of gate scores for screening in the selection interviews will be finalized only after the conclusion of the online examination candidates are advised to maximize their chance of being screened in the selection interview by availing both okay so they are telling that please avail for the both okay so that's the recommendation which they have given on completion of online application process a link will be provided to the application portal uh, for candidate to book their examination venue and the exam slot now these things will be done later on first you have to fill the form and apply for it let's come a little down so only on the basis of gate score will not be allotted on the examination center this is for the candidate who have opted for a screening only on the basis of gate score uh, they will not be allotted an examination slot okay because they don't have to give exam right 
so only examination slot allotment will be given to those who have either opted just by entrance exam or who, those who have opted both option okay those who have just opted that they just want to appear through the gate score they will not have this option okay now there are various other thing that those who have qualified uh, their uh, like master's degree from department of atomic energy center of excellence in basic sciences that is umdaecbs uh, and national institute of uh, science education research that is nizer bhubneshwar in the academic year 2020 2021 or 2021 2022 and whose cumulative great performance average that is cgpa is greater than or equal to 7.5 on the scale of 10 will be directly screened into the selection interview stage so they don't have to go through the entrance exam or through gate so this is the advantage which they are getting because they are from a particular institute and their score is quite good like their cgpa their master cgpa is quite good now it's it is to be noted that this option is being screened in the based of cgpa can be exercised only once okay only once we can do such candidates should first um, submit the application uh, for the OCS program on the online application portal and subsequently forward their details through the director of their institute. So what they have to do, if you if you are one of them who is watching this video, so you have to fill the form and then you have to uh, like forward the other details through the director of your institute. All right, let's go a little down. So they have given other opportunities also. Please read about these things. Okay, I have not made this video a very detailed one because i just wanted you to know the important things so that's why i am leaving few things okay okay selection interview of the shortlisted candidate will be conducted in mumbai or in hyderabad two way normal ac3 tire train ticket will be given to you you will be given a travel allowance only for interview if you are selected for the interview you will be given two way means to and fro uh, ac3 tire train fare okay now the probable period of the selection interview will be in the month of june to july 2022 and uh, as i told you that uh, the exam will be conducted in april 2022 so the listed candidate will, can choose their interview slot in april 2022 so they these are tentative dates final selection of the ocs program will be based solely on the performance of selection interview subject to medical fitness so if you are medically fit and if you perform good in interview then you are going to be eligible so the final uh, selection is only based upon selection interview it does not uh, like the entrance exam is just for the qualifying for the interview the final selection is going to be just based upon your interview and your fitness it will not include the marks which you got in the entrance exam okay so this should be very clear to you okay let's look upon the eligibility criteria so for chemistry i have uh, marked it out somewhere so i'll just show you that here it is yeah for chemistry this is the eligibility criteria so the code is 42 and the eligibility is like msc in chemistry with physics up to bsc remember this is very important physics up to bsc is asked or at subsidiary or at the ancillary level in case of five year integrated msc so if you have taken five year msc uh, integrated msc then physics should be there in your class 12th okay or in the initial uh, semesters of your msc uh, and mathematics at standard 12th okay so you should need mathematics in class 12th and physics so bio students who are who have done msc in chemistry they cannot apply for this okay that's what this says very clearly all candidate other than those applying for five year integrated msc degree must be additionally having minimum of 60 percent aggregate marks in bsc so 60 percent marks in bsc is needed okay uh, next uh, is application applicant opting to be considered on the basis of gate score should have valid gate 2021 or gate 2022 uh, two course in uh, sorry score in chemistry msc in nanoscience nanotechnology uh, chemistry industrial chemistry applied chemistry textile chemistry msc in, in environmental chemistry m pharma and in pharmaceutical analysis msc in pharmaceutical chemistry msc in petroleum chemistry are not eligible okay so all these people are not eligible this point was very important and i will suggest you to read this very carefully because this is going to screen a big number of msc chemistry people because i know there are many msc chemistry people who have done either uh, like who who come from the bio background or those who come from like applied chemistry or from um, m pharma and all so you guys are not eligible to apply for it only those now only those people are left out who have taken either uh, like physics and those who have maths background okay so those people are eligible to now let's go to the next thing i know most of you are disappointed by now but fine what can we do 
okay so the age limit for this is like for for the general category the age limit is 26 years for obc category the age limit is 29 years for SCST category the age limit is 31 years okay so that's what they have given there are various other relaxation also please read about them nationality should be india means you should be indian and applicants working in the central or state government uh, you should produce your noc certificate if you are applying for it application fees so a non-refundable fees of 500 will be charged for general and obc category boys means male candidates a uh, woman candidate and candidate belonging to SCST uh, category or the candidate belonging to the dependent of defense personnel killed in action and physically uh, challenged candidates they do not have to pay any fees so the fees only a male candidates belonging to general category or obc category they have to pay 500 rupees other all of the others are exempted from this particular fees okay there are various other things which you can do but let's talk about that how you can apply okay do let me know in the comments that do you guys want a detailed video on how to apply i'll try to make that but uh, the online process is pretty simple i'll show you they have given a chart a very nice chart they have given so that you understand it so there is a primary stage where you just have to activate means you have to fill the basic uh, information then you can activate through otp both sms and email otps will be given both you have to verify just like you have did for the gate then you have to do applicant login then candidate home uh, then personal information academic information screening information payment stage and final submission and completion so this this is how it goes and it says that after every step it will be saved so this arrow shows that basically this is this belong to whole your application process and then you have to complete it okay uh, next uh, they have given all the things in detail that what you have to do in each step okay i'll do that in a separate video itself let's come down for the tables which we were actually looking for yeah so this table talks about that what is the subject code what is the discipline in which you can apply and then uh, what is the eligibility and what is the gate subject we can choose so all the things are mentioned as it is uh, the candidate belonging to chemistry that is code 42 discipline selected for the bar training school at mumbai uh, will be allotted either chemistry code 42 or RSES as I said that RSES was a additional course which chemistry people are eligible for so either you will be allotted in the chemistry or in the RSES as the training scheme and those elect selected for the training school at IGCSR will uh, pursue uh, nuclear fuel chemistry that is NFCC in the training school so these are the courses which they are going to provide okay if you are selected in Mumbai uh, branch then you will be given chemistry or RSES and if you are selected in uh, uh, in the training scheme uh, like those who are uh, in the training scheme of uh, like training school of IGCR uh, they will be given NFCC as the subject okay training school they have given that belonging to a particular subject what are the training in school so you can see IGCR Kalpakkam is there for chemistry people training scheme they have given then what are the orientation of the training uh, similarly you have the training scheme for chemistry here as well in Mumbai so these are the two places for chemistry people okay so I have just mentioned you uh, you can check that out okay the table 3 talks about the relevant mtech this is for the mtech and dgfs people so let's not go for this so that's it okay the last table talks about important dates which you should know and these are all tentative dates okay so the print has been like printed advertisement in the newspaper will be done on 18th of jan online application process commencement has been done on 17th of jan last date of registration is 11th of feb so make sure that you register before that last date of submission of online application is 12th of jan then online examination slot booking will be from 4th of march to 18th of march online examination will be between 7th of march to 13th of sorry 7th of april to 13th of april last date of candidates to upload gate score will be uh, on 13th of april list of uh, candidates who will be shortlisted will be on 28th of april and selection interview will be done around june 14 to july 31 and display of list of final selected candidate will be in the month of august and a list of okay uh, selected ocs candidate desirous for dgfs to give details okay these are the different things now declaration of the list of applicants selected for dgfs so for ocs you will be getting around in the month of august and that's where this whole thing 
is going to end for you means the whole process is going to get finished okay uh, as it was mentioned earlier that uh, they are going to tell you that how they are nor going to normalize the marks and all so this is the formula which they will be using to normalize your marks in your entrance exam you can look upon it you can read about it and uh, yeah that's it uh, different codes are given apart uh, for the given subject so as i told you uh, for chemistry it is 42 and at the end there is the fees amount which is given to you depending upon different like different uh, category the fees is mentioned those who are exempted from the fees is also written over here age eligibility is also given over here so this is a table which will summarize all the eligibility depending upon your date uh, uh, like date of birth and fees so it has been mentioned very uh, beautifully over here okay so that's it that's all for this particular information from this particular brochure so that's it for this video i just tried to give you all the informations possible i hope that the video made sense i hope you understood all the things if you guys have any doubt you can post down in the comment sections below and that's it from my side thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csi ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much